Okay, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize your GNOME desktop. Just open your default web browser, whatever it is. Might be Firefox, might be Chromium, anything. Search for a theme. Let's go for GTK themes. Just head over to the GTK 3 or 4 themes. And from there, head over to just do one thing. Search for metal. It's basically cold metal which is the GDK theme, not the icon pack. The theme looks very nice. So go for the theme. Just download that. And next we need some Nord icons. So search for Nord icons. And there are some Nord icons that are available. Mm. Okay. Let's go for this one. Or we can also go for this one. So these are the two things that we are going to use. Now installing them are very simple. Just open the files, head over to download and extract the two of them into the home directory. Create another directory that is dot themes and dot icons. These are the two things that we need. Control H will enable hidden files. Head over to dot icons and drag and drop the icon back into it. For the dot themes, open that and drag and drop the gold metal theme into it. That's it, done. Now we need some packages now. So go for sudo apt install. We're going to need conkey, we need gq, curl lua 5.4 and also gnome tweaks done now open tweaks app go to appearance change the application theme to gold metal this is the gold metal theme and for the icons change them to the node black icons so this is how they look now we need to do some changes in the settings to clean up the system a little bit just head over to settings and appearance auto hide dock change it to dock mode produce the icon size and put the location at the bottom or at the right Putting at the right is more recommended and to configure the dock behavior, don't show all these things and we can keep the trash, okay. And finally, for the icons, let's not show any personal folders and let me remove this install Ubuntu thing. That's all, that looks a little bit cleaner. Now I'm going to connect my pen drive, which has some softwares in it. Uh, I mean, a, uh, the con key. That was there i got it from um, close box 73 i did some modifications there and where is it this one this is all turf i did some modifications there and for the wallpaper we're going to use this picture okay so let's copy the picture and all turf and head over to the home directory and paste them there now let's cut alter and go to dot config create a new folder named conkey if you don't have that open it and paste alter here open alter here are the fonts that you need to install just open the fonts click on install one by one all of them will be installed in your system that's it done now the basically whatever the changes that i've done is firstly in the uh sorry in res slash bg.png i changed this portion to node it was there for showing the cpu and the ram but unfortunately those were broken and not working properly so i changed them to show just not and next whatever that problem happens there with uh, the argb visual enabled as false there is a weird black border at the back so that is changed to true Just open this in terminal 
and make sure that this is set to be executable so do this and also inside the scripts that are there set them to be executable that's all done now dot slash start dot sh if i'm not wrong yeah start dot sh enter and there you can see the con key great now let us apply the wallpaper which is this one set as wallpaper and this is how your systems will the system will look now let's do some editings in the terminal first of all we need to change the color scheme so uh, it's important to use a different color scheme okay so before we change the color scheme we need to change the shell theme for that just open your web browser and head over to gnome head over to gnome shell extensions gnome shell extensions here just so install the browser extension that is required add to chrome add extension that's it done now head over to user themes and if you get this problem it is very simple to solve just open the terminal and type sudo apt install gnome shell okay what is chrome gnome shell chrome gnome shell that is what we need and that's all after the installation is done just refresh this page and that's I, that problem should be solved install now we can change the user themes so just open uh, the tweaks app head of appearance and here you can see this can be changed so let's go for cold metal so that it looks more perfect that's it so that's all now let's do some modifications with the terminal for that i'm going to try something very stupid now just search for oh my zsh and you will get this place and now we need to go for install um, zsh and we need lolcat and fortune so i know these themes won't go much uh, with the current theme which is the node color palette because of one reason which is uh, the color will be very uh, glossy so if we go for just like echo hello you see it will just show hello or we can go with other quotes which will also do the same thing so echo hello if we pipe it through lolcat you get this so if if we put some more sentence hello this is a sample see it puts a gradient over there now gradient does not go with uh, the nod theme um does not it, i won't say that it does not go but it won't look great with the current node theming but this is something that i uh, found out recently and so i thought of just showing you guys uh, so that you can implement it with different other themes with that mainly like with uh, those that have a lot of colors like the having blur colors um, gradients so you can go do with that so if we go for fortune it will show a quote and if we pipe fortune through lolcat there you get that gradient quote or if we go and install sudo apt install like neo fetch so this is normal neo fetch and this is neo fetch through lolcat nice and this is NeoFetch through lolcat animated. Yeah, it will take a lot of time. Anyway, so that's the un basic understanding. Right. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is let's get into ZSH shell. Okay. So 
just enter zero and you can see that this is the default zsh uh, thing that is going there and let's just enter this which will basically oh we need git for that so sudo apt install git yes let's get this yes so this is oh my zsh which is the default shell now if you close this and reopen you will see that bash is again being used so for preventing that you can do one thing let me just remove this uh, you can do one thing just head over to preferences from there go to command and run a custom command as login shell zsh will be the command and just close this next time when you open the terminal it will be using zsh by default shell now there are some themes in zsh available so if you head over to the github we are going to use this one that is agnosta just copy this name and open the file manager that is nautilus and open this file search for the zshrc and there just change the theme shell to agnosta save it close it and reopen zsh you will see that it's using a different theme now uh, you see those weird bars appearing right so you can be they can be solved easily by running installing mm, font power line i guess that is the name of the package oh sorry apt install is it power line font i just completely forgot the name there we get oh it's forms power line just the s was causing a problem that's it now reopen the terminal and you will see all those problems solved head over to preferences to change the color and let's go to color and see this one so let's change it to match so that should be good let's run neofetch and see how themes have changed so that is how it looks okay now what I was thinking is that if we edit this further let's add something like echo okay let's add fortune and pipe it through lolcat before that let's put a blank line and after that also let's put a blank line Let's go for echo, welcome. And again, who am I? And we put it oops, through lolcat. Another line, save. Now if we open this, that is how it looks i know it looks a bit stupid but at the same time it's something that you can go and try out right okay further we can change the transparency of this like this so that can also be done okay so this is how it finally looks it finally looks right so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one